Have you ever heard of the Wobbegong Shark? No? Well, get ready, because these guys are the masters of underwater disguise. If you've ever walked along a reef in Australia or Indonesia, you might have been just inches away from a Wobbegong without even knowing it. Their bodies are flat and wide, covered in spots and lines that look just like the rocks and corals around them. And check out their beard. Those fleshy tassels hanging off their jaw break up their outline even more. Some even have fake eyes painted around their real ones. But here's the real trick. They don't chase after their meals. Wabagongs are ambush predators. They lie still on the seabed, sometimes for hours, blending in so well that fish, crabs, and even octopus swim right up close. And when dinner gets within reach, BAM! They launch forward with a massive gulp, sucking in their prey with lightning speed. Those needle teeth and a jaw that can dislocate, perfect for grabbing slippery snacks. Their name, Wabigong, comes from an Australian Aboriginal word. Most folks reckon it means shaggy beard. Makes sense, right? Most sharks need to keep swimming to breathe, but not the Wabagong. They've got special cheek muscles that pump water over their gills, letting them chill on the ocean floor for hours, no effort required. At night, though, it's a different story. That's when they get up, shake off the sand, and start patrolling the reef for food. And get this, some, like the tasseled Wabagong, even waggle their tails as bait to lure in curious fish. And when it comes to family, Wabagongs are champs. Some mums can have up to 37 pups at once. Best part? They're not aggressive to humans. Just give them space and you'll get to admire one of the ocean's most remarkable camo artists. So, next time you're snorkeling in the Indo-Pacific, keep your eyes peeled. You never know if a wabagong is watching you, perfectly hidden right beneath your fins.